mercy. Hello, mercy. Hello, mercy. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Oh, say. What I thank you, comrades, members of the four estates, our illustrious grand forces, and members of the honor grand affairs, distinguished. Dejected and suffering masses of our people. As Liberia is put on the crossroad, mm -hmm. where well, the issue of our leadership has become an embarrassment mm -hmm. to the democratic integrity of the state, it has all been an Aguilian responsibility, the revolutionary responsibility of the party. In critical times that like this, the party to speak to a lengthened a cascade of critical national issues. Yeah. And so at this juncture, we'd like to invite you to one of the regular monthly press conferences being held right at the sacred revolutionary Political theater named in honor of Matea Comrade Papisolo. And so we'd like to invite you, all our partisans whom we have brought, as a party who unmarks contradictions in the motherland to provide the way forward for the mobility of the party movement towards. Amanda! And so quickly, because of time, comrades, and I call upon comrades, Nenesi Kababu, who do for us the recognition of part of Bishops. officials as well as distinguished personalities that have come to face this very important problem. In Jesus' name, she will see our bill on the principle of war before you do something that will fall. So far, Lord, I tell you, thank you, I gave you the honor. I tell you, thank you for breaking class and forward pay over the coalition of democratic team. I tell you, thank you, the hour I present my party chairman and my son, Tamakoti, Amati Kaba, and the rest of the party official, the member of coalition. Pour them out with the blood of Jesus. I pour them out with the blood of Jesus. No weapon with four eggs or shop. Thank you, thank you, Jeremiah. Say, you do Jeremiah to tell the people they are wrong to eat. Say, I'm very small from Jeremiah, from Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter one, verse one. He said, Why you are in your mother who are already Jews? I said, that in you to be the prophet of the nation. Yeah. 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 to go to the battle from Jehovah God will cover every one of us with the blood. He said, Just one. He said, Let the people be thinking, and you are with me the faith. I tell you, thank you for victory over the Before you, I'm Amesi Kaba, Assistant Secretary for Press and Propaganda, the People's Movement. I have the pleasing honor now to introduce to you and to recognize the Master's Chairman in person of Honorable Janga for. of the mighty CDC, and I'm humbled to introduce a mentor, a leader, and a revolutionary. Mm -hmm. so, in person of Honorable Jefferson Tamakoti. Oh, 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 oh. 
It is business beyond usual. They say it was never going to be business as usual. But it's not just business as usual. It is business beyond usual. You say you bring a machine, we are all happy one Liberia to be developed. But you came to power on the matter of transparency and accountability. What happens to, to accountability? What happens to the procurement process? Is it a loan? If it's a loan, how do we get there? The government needs to stop. So we will be here to erect the necessary checkpoint. With no delay, I do not want to focus on much of your time. I will come back, but at this juncture, I will give, I will give the podium back to you from having this said. Thank you so very much. Oh, oh, oh. So we don't want to waste time because the Musel cannot keep the chairman hostage. On the basis of that, on our itinerary we have the the man who controls the secretariat. The man who dots the I and crosses the T. The man who will speak to the microphone and to the broader masses of our people on issues that are confronting the motherland. It will delve into other critical issues. You have been around for a very long period of time. You have been in the trenches. You have been in the contested zone. He's been to the battle zone, and currently he's now in the liberation zone. Comrade Adelor, Jefferson Tamakoji, the are welcome to the microphone. Submission and obedience. The CDC, not only it is a people's party, mm -hmm. but it is a religious movement. Mm -hmm. And that's why we enjoy unquestionably the fullness of guardians and wisdom. And that's why the CDC is put in the position, it does the unusual. Mm -hmm. Even with the purported perception that CDC is incompetent and CDC cannot do what you may be thinking about. 
But those of quote unquote people who claims to be the know it all group of people, <laughs> they have fallen short below the belt to even attempt to survive what the CDC has performed. Strangely, we sometimes, someone asks me and say, what is it about the CDC you survive in difficulties? During your year, it was a year of by elections. During your year, it was a year of natural period, COVID-19. But yet it stays first and second to none in the world. What COVID, what ravishing the world, honor his leadership, excellence, Dr. George Maria. People who have been paid when they were seated at home. It took the genius of the CDC leadership. Mm -hmm. so true. With all of the cross-pollination of issues and complexity, the CDC provided guardians and leadership, yeah. authentic ones. And CDC was always thinking about the people. And for us, the biggest issues in this country is to address, is to address the issues of the people. So today we hear one of the leadership, the astute leadership of Comrade Chairperson Augusto Changa Ko, who have, have decided to accept the sacred responsibility to lead the people strong with total perpetuity. <clears throat> courageousness with a sense of deliberate decisiveness. So they is here to X-read, unpack the issues. And I've come to laid the basis for the very important responsibility. We have sat here and listened to you. We're not in rush. We are genuine people. And sometimes we're listening to them and uh, you often hear them say to you, the opposition is silent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously we silent. Mm -hmm. But you know why? We are not talking tall. The CDC will not transform itself into a talking Trump institution. The CDC is a revolutionary institution. We understand the dialectics and the nuances about the people's issue. You don't teach us this, Karen. We know what's the issue you I know what you're talking about. They are very good at scapegoating. And I hear a man who is a sector of the responsibility and come before the microphone, I dare anyone to challenge the peace, the recklessness. When you see them trumpeting like that, they find it hard. No, you don't have what it takes to dare anybody here. We give you an opportunity so the masses can know you're not gonna scapegoat here. So the masses, what you do, you do these people. So we won't get an opportunity, so there's a marathon, we know you're not going anywhere. And like the hunter, you know, I'm a son of a hunter, he took his son to the bush. And I said, Daddy, what are you? He see the bush car was coming with excessive speed. And the guy said, I said, Daddy, why don't we shoot the head? He said, no, we can. It's a, it is an animal dead in waiting. He said, he said the speed at which it's moving, Determine his death. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little while, a little while, the old man talked to his son and said, Can we go and pick up the bush car you were just threatening about? When they looked back, it went, it collided up of the tree and it became a dead me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We know these people, they, they survive our own lives. And that's what we said to them. Yeah. That your quest yesterday was a naked desperation for chance, mm -hmm. not change. Mm. Yeah, you right. just want a chance. Mm -hmm. With you, 
it offers an opportunity to explore these people. But when we came to you before, we didn't tell you that our struggle was a nothing meaningful ball game. Mm -hmm. These people have been in trends here for decades upon decades. We have to fight them in all sense. We went there, they fought us, we come back, the revolution will return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At that time, you will not depend on me to fight. At that time, you will be armed and equipped for what it takes to defend the mother's land. Mm -hmm. And there will be no room yes. for these for the wicked, desperate political desperado who survives for lies. And today we say it was not a quest for change, but instead a quest for change. Yes. <laughs> and when we say to you that it was not rescue, but it was rescue. <laughs> It was a risky mission because it was enveloped with selfishness, mm -hmm. with greed, and that's what it was enveloped with. And somebody said to me in similar text, he said, I want to apologize, come here. I said, but well, why? He said, I thought it was a unity party. I said, what is it? It's a use of party, it's a unity party. It's a use of party. It's a use of party. It's a party that come to use, mm -hmm. but it's personal proof. Mm -hmm. But I trust the ability of this chairperson. Mm -hmm. Want to say to our partisan, do not battle. We're keeping an eye on them. Mm -hmm. Full eye on them. We're understanding them. Mm -hmm. We know them. They are at a range on a daily business of what I can know for the world. We know them from, from, from bottom to top. Mm -hmm. We have an eye on them. Mm -hmm. We understand what all they're doing. Those of our people, they are, those Liberians, they are intimidating. Mm -hmm. We want to say to you, the chairman, we, the chairman asked me to be here. The day we come here and we're facing the microphone, you can rest of the show that day, that day will be a day of reckoning. Mm. Hey, don't, don't worry about yourself and stop it. Don't mind them. Mm. Oh, the party is not talking. Don't mind them. Mm. They won't find a skip route. Mm. They will come here and show mm. to the librarian mm. what they are capable of doing. Mm. Don't let them to escape the CDC and say, oh, we mm. wanted to do this, but at the CDC. Mm. The CDC is here. We are focused. All His Excellency, we are working with our party, spend our energy and ensure it across the country. So we have in our education, I want to say thank you to the political leaders, the political leaders who have done extremely well of understanding what it takes to, to get us to where we are and setting the party on course. A lot of things coming. We're asking the librarian people, we are here, we're not visitors. Mm -hmm. We are authentic group of political yeah. institutions. We're here to stay. We have no intention to visit. Those are the people do it. And, uh, listen to me before I take one seat. Uh, uh, it's, sometimes it's, it's very interesting, you see? It's a very interesting place. These are people when once the chance is taken away from them, they return. They are political tourists, they are tourists. I listened to Jeremy Limit Pia this morning, who seemed with blatant intoxication. Mm. Mm. And, and you ask him, you are a mad job seeker. You reach on the state cover. Mm. You have never survived as a being before. Never have you. We never survived. And that's why it's strange to you when somebody asks you a question. You get free red dead, and you turn into bullying, a progressive, an objective, scholastic character like Mama C. Kabbal. But you're wasting your time. She, your expression doesn't define who she is. Mm -hmm. She was trained to confront creature like you, mm -hmm. who survived on political opportunism. 
So that's the difference between you and I. We will stay here. We will not be this place because we're going to say this place better than you. We don't have to be. You have your You can, Mr. Quacker, take us from here. <laughs> you know, it's not possible when you came and brought, when you brought that thing and we told you it was an arrangement and you know, to hustle. And you talk with you. Now, one reason, the only sympathy that you're enjoying now it is a sympathy with Joseph gave you so that people can understand you. What you, what you, you, know, you are like a flint. We can just snap, just snap our fingers. And history will be called to order. Oh, 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 Cultivating the, the fine, when people just enter the town, they can be consumed by the absence of the time and think they are the owners of that time. No, they are not. The owners are farming because they know they will return home. Mm -hmm. So you down there, where you get two kakaleka and be doing, you know, you be jumping tatty, you know, beating your tatty and thing. So you think, oh, you know exactly what is it? We're going to put our people through and then you will be here, you will work. Very soon you will go to your office, you will, your office will see you, you know, you'll be afraid to enter and you'll be escaping because you might have desperately disappointed, not only in a brain pool, but disappointed yourself and you'll find no comfort in your respective spaces. It is the analogy of the hunter. We don't worry about where because we know your end. You. We see, we see your end before you begin. Oh. <laughs> and that's why right, that's we look right. at you. We don't need to put effort. Because Mr. Praga presiding in an autopilot government. They could have, the country is balloting itself. I see the question. That's why you see some of these schemers are trying to escape. And they want to shift blame. The thing is turning into a disaster, an epidemic. And nobody wants to be associated with it. Mm -hmm. And so they're running away. See the criminal. You go and some sort. Today, yeah, you want us to believe you say the government make a decision? What a decision you haven't made that will be set in the cabinet meeting. So it is true that you are a four one man of <laughs> You go over there. So who's in charge? That should be a launch of struggle to know who's in charge. But that is not our duty. We have much more sacred responsibility. The concerns of the Liberian people are more sacred to us. And these bunch of desperado who are engaged in the fighting trade. And Mary making. So, at this point in time, I want to seize the moment and to reassure you, partisans. You know, we've been with you, we've been set after the elections. We have visited several of our counties. We've been actively engaged with you. We understand some of your, your requests and some of your suggestions. Those are most vital to us. Your concerns are always paramount to us. These people are very well with being trapped by the irresponsibility and the desperation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, desperate behavior. Very soon, you know, man, you will be. Yeah, these will turn into their shadow. <clears throat> so don't worry and don't allow them to scapegoat to you. The CDC is one of the funniest things that ever existed. In the Liberian history, the ball is politics. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, to the extent they're trying to even own the CDC achievement. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. That's how, that's how deceitful they are, very deceptive. And you see, I say, this is here, you know what I'm saying? 
the CDC, the, 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 the you should be responsible enough. You told the Liberian people that you were launching a process of coming to provide leadership for them. Yes. You. And you come here, a set of you appalled Jasmine, a set of you asking for forgiveness, a surrounding. Half a surrender, and it's not my life in the night. My mother, they are creeping in the night and calling back and forth. They're scary. My mother, very scary. <laughs> they ask, oh, you know, you know, we want family, oh, we yeah. And this are the brain born brain, no for politics. Can you imagine that? <laughs> so, what are you doing? I want to you, King, yeah, or oh, what? We know that we are authentic people. We don't want to talk much about that. We want to say to you. This desperation of change instead of change will be fully known by the Liberian people. <coughs> the unity pattern that is now being known as the user pattern will also be known by the Liberian people. So that when you get, when you decide to take a decision with them, that decision uh, in the biblical world, is the, the, you know, the user pattern will be confirmed in purgatory, never to return. <laughs> And that's how you gotta do when you confirm them in adultery, it's become compatible. Nothing that can be part of. And the caricature that who today now say to us, but I'm is a fool, there's a whole thing. I want to you in today with disrupt. There are too many things about it. <laughs> it will disrupt the meat of the conversation. So we keep it sacred, it is. But very soon you know, when I show you those things are about to be done. So I very much want to say thank you for your support. Our partisans, thank you for your standing courage. Those of you who go and stay self the library, people, all of you with documenting, we know. You know the message you get, give you a code already. Don't reveal the code. Check up the code. <laughs> From the police to the EPS to the federal government agency. Mm -hmm. And everywhere you are, fire ministry, cap the code. Very soon we'll unleash and we'll decode. <laughs> and the world celebrates every single so day. Well. Oh, 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 oh. Chairman Augusto Changa Kuo, the commanding general of the fighting forces of the people's party. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, where you? 
Good to see each person. Members of the National Assembly This is Freedom 87. Members of the Coming to the of Opposition Coalition, but I'm going to change. I am from the head of this OPT. Members of the Folk Estate. We have again assembled here today. Continue the documentation of a few regime. So, before I start to read the prepared text, the government book that can clearly see the difference now between a CBC government and a United Party government. But the immediate victims of the United Party government are the ordinary Liberian people. The immediate, they are the immediate victims, starting from the killing of innocent people in jail, to the harassment of motorcyclists, to the harassment of civil servants. Mm -hmm. These people continue to demonstrate that they represent an elite class of our people. They are dismissing people in the government who are making as low as 150. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are hiring people and paying them thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. That tells you the sharp contrast mm -hmm. between the United Party government and the CDC government. The CDC government is a people-centered government. Mm -hmm. The CDC government took office like that. It didn't have the power to dismiss. No. Just as the fairly United Party government is doing today, the CC will have opted to begin to do arbitrary dismissals and wish hunting. But in the wisdom of His Excellency, Dr. George Manon, we are so, so, so. Liberia is a small country. We are all one people. <coughs> and so the CC government, even to the dislike of hardcore seditions. Hmm. Government was mandated, government officials were mandated to not to touch people in offices who were perceived to be United Party supporters. Hmm. And that was done from the position of strength. Yes. Not that we didn't know that we had United Party people working in the offices, no. But the president being who he is, the president has demonstrated as you saw the 2023 election, as painful as it was uh -huh. in conceding defeat on a very small margin that mm. I refer to as a margin of error. Mm. 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 Because there were elements in the country. You saw mm -hmm. blood naked and all those women around the country. Mm -hmm. Threatening the country with war, threatening the country with instability. You saw the murder of ordinary citizens in Lofa, in Nimba, in Monserrado. Mm -hmm. So these people are looking for an excuse to reunite a civil war in Liberia. Mm -hmm. And so I want seditions for you to actually put on your lenses. Yeah. And as painful as it is, you know, we're conceding on a very low margin who are born to court that they were reports of uh, discrepancies all around the country. But there were elements in the country. And you saw the Unity Party, I regard the Unity Party as a party that damaged the moral fabric of the country. Because if you can take a confessed murderer, the butt naked, and he was one of the moral compass, one of the moral leaders of the Unity Party, so you saw that the country were heading in the wrong direction. You saw that these were gathering, these were training people all around the country. And you saw what happened during the six years of President We are were hating people who were insulting the presidency. So you know the part of the government, it's a party that destroyed the moral fabric. Now they don't have the guts to even condemn when people are insulting the presidency. Because they celebrated these people, people troop from their various districts into District 10. Yeah. Uh, because uh, they were happy when the Goyaka Polva was insulting the presidency. Today, so even our clergy and all of them could not condemn. Today, they have a dilemma. 
Mm-hmm. I don't even mm-hmm. condemn. You have a dilemma. It's a moral dilemma because you have mm-hmm. set the tender. Mm-hmm. But it is acceptable to insult the presidency. Mm-hmm. And so now you have no moral authority. Mm-hmm. You have no moral authority mm-hmm. for the quest for native power. Mm-hmm. You damage the moral fabric of the country. Mm-hmm. And we saw this coming. We saw this coming. And so the Labrador people can see that there's a stark difference between the United Party. Even in the offices, they are beginning to regret. Mm. Because we didn't bother them, we went to these offices, we didn't bother them, we were trying to, to hire qualified mm-hmm. seditions, seditions, mm-hmm. paying their blue at 150. Yes, mm. yes, seditions were being insulted all around the country. So mm-hmm. We were being insulted in their communities. Mm. Oh, yes. So we want to show that the CDC is not a naked power, no. The CDC is a people's movement that understands that we must confront the challenges that this country faces. The challenges of education, challenges of development, healthcare, these are the issues that we were combating. It was not a quest for naked power. The CDC as a government, we have high influence, SSC, the Kenyan government. But in general terms, the CDC was an authentic regime geared towards solving the problems of the country. When you saw the government giving free white wax, was that in error? Because abroad become a rich country, maybe in the next 50 years. But what are the people going to be waiting for? So the people must begin to benefit from their resources. That's why you saw free university education. Mm-hmm. Because we're not going to wait for 50 years for the country to get rich people to benefit. The people need to be benefit now. Mm-hmm. That's why the CC government was spending millions of dollars annually to subsidize rice. Mm-hmm. Not that we didn't understand, but we know that our people need to have affordable rice. That's why importers, one of the CC government were being given cash to make sure that they, keep, they kept the rice, rice down. And so we have come here today. You can already see the government is feeling on its own competences. And that's why people say, oh, we are not talking. We will talk, we will, we will talk once a month. We will document them. We need to give them the chance to feel more. No, no. So our president, because if we, if we as a party, we want a confusion in the country, we do not have considered for a very small margin. Mm-hmm. It was a big sacrifice to concede on oh, less than 20,000 votes. That's a and so we will not allow people who are talking to who don't know what they are doing to use our escape votes. No, we will keep the country peaceful. Yes. And our people will see that you don't have why it takes to lead the country. Mm-hmm. But you are already failing on your own on your own incompetences. Mm-hmm. You don't know, and that's why what the LG said. He keep the power on the basis of chance, as if he didn't know, he didn't anticipate. But you governed this country for 12 years, so you have got no excuse. You have got no excuse. Apparently, you don't understand the challenges of the country. You are an elitist cop mm-hmm. trying to dismiss very poor people and very, very low echelon of the government. You are targeting. Ordinary security officers, be the police, the EPS, the DEA, immigration. That's very shameful on your part. Because these are Liberians. They are not Sierra Leoneans. They are not Guineans. These are Liberian people who were hired. Even the salary they were, they were making is not even enough to take them home. Mm-hmm. Then you are dismissing them. You went to the Ministry of State. These people that were helping to maintain the Ministry of State properties around the country, you summarily dismiss them. Mm-hmm. You're trying to, you try to exude power. That's not power. That's cowardice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Targeting vulnerable people is a show of cowardice, not strength. So, on this note, I will now proceed to prepare a text. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, we have assembled here today to continue the documentation of a failed regime. Mm-hmm. A regime which is fast collapsing under the weight of its own incompetences. Mm-hmm. A regime 
which gives the power to an electoral accident. Mm -hmm. Victory deep would be in the margin of error. A victory of chance instead of change. We can clearly see that just in just five months, the United Party regime has become anti-democratic, anti-peace, anti-rule of law. Mm -hmm. It's taking the country backwards. Mm -hmm. Eroding really, all the democratic gains mm -hmm. made and the consolidation done on the city government. Mm -hmm. We have come here today to condemn. We condemn in the strongest terms the recent attack on the vehicle of the former vice president of the Republic of Liberia, Madam Joel Howard Taylor. The former vice president has complained about inadequate security protection and the recent attack on her vehicle marks an alarming threat to her person. The government of Liberia is requested to take immediate steps to remedy this precarious situation. The protection of the former vice president it's a responsibility of the current government. It is very irresponsible for the government to turn a blind eye to this situation. It has also come to the attention of the CDC that the government of Liberia has fraudulently procured 285 yellow machines. <laughs> Laughable. The most laughable story in the country. Because I see you, you know the folks are dramatizing on social media, dramatizing the procurement of 285 yellow machines. Information data speaks to an apparent asset swapping involving some natural resources of the country. If the information is correct, it marks a dangerous bravado. The government is trying to punish the natural resources of the country. We demand full accountability and transparency in this matter. And the citizens activated the necessary mechanisms to ensure the protection of the natural resources of the country. Yeah. While we welcome initiatives here towards the development of the country, such must be within the confines of the law and the national interest. The United Party government has launched a series of attacks on the rule of law by disregarding and disrespecting the Supreme Court ruling and taking arbitrary actions against tenure officials in the government. The United Party government has also failed to prosecute alleged murderers of peaceful citizens in Lufa, Nimba, and Montserrat County. Yes. Mm. Yes. We demand immediate prosecution of these alleged murderers who are roaming free while the victims' families continue to live in agony. So as a matter of fact, we'll be sending a letter to the Antony General and Justice Minister of the Republic demanding the prosecution of these people who were involved in the killings of peaceful citizens on the guards of election area. We also categorically reject the Bukas police investigative report of the murder of peaceful protesters in King George Grand Kidman County. We demand a full independent investigation. The police cannot conduct an investigation that tries to exonerate itself. We also, in a stronger term, condemn the kidnapping at the airport of a Labrin blogger, Nebeteri Kape, aka yeah. Razo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. Razo was kidnapped at the airport, the point is arrival in the country without charge, we were here for many days. Mm -hmm. Why the government went around looking for complainants? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Such actions are reckless, they are counterproductive, anti-peace, they are a threat to the peace and security of the country. Because if we begin to start marshalling 
men and women to begin to demand justice will be misrepresented and misinterpreted. And so it is in the interest of the government, in the interest of peace for the government to desist from wish hunting, targeting, and some of the reckless behavior. As you are aware recently, the police inspector general was daring people, daring librarians that they cannot go into the street to protest. Yeah. And then librarians, we as a party, at this stage, we have not reached a point where we're going to be engaging in protest. But what we will do is defend the right of any librarian. And I want to repeat myself, the CDC at this stage, has not made a decision to engage in the organization of any protest. But the speech as a party, we support the right of all librarians at any time, anywhere, mm -hmm. who decide to protest will defend their rights. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 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 Really? When you saw water on your food from the yes. pool, it was not by accident. Yes. It was a deliberate national policy decision of the government to provide water on your food. Because the CDC has a party in opposition was a victim mm -hmm. of police brutality. Mm -hmm. This headquarters has, this has was invaded on the rumor zone on day 11. And people were killed. Jefferson Tamakoji, who sits there today, was arrested multiple times. Mm -hmm. Almost 10 times he was, he was tortured mm -hmm. on the United Party government. He was tortured severally. It's the same government that has come to power. Mm -hmm. And let the government be warned that pre-2018 activities will not be tolerated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let the government be warned. But the CDC is not silent in our does no. The CDC is providing you an opportunity to drown yourself. Thank you. Mm. But the CDC that will be part of the narrative that will say, oh, the, the, the people left power and they were trying to disrupt the peace. Like I said, mm -hmm. it won't be disruptive of the peace that we built, who have contested the election results, who have won the vote. And then I'm sure, I'm sure by then, what Nigga and all of have been activated to bring terror on the country. <laughs> but we opted not to do that. We opted not to do that. We opted not to do that. We opted not to go for the ultimate path of the country because for us, power is not the ultimate. The safety, the happiness of the brown people is more important. Because we are aware that people in the live day by day. Day by day. Because we are the owners of the country because we grew up in poverty. I know. I live day by day. My family lived day by day in the 80s and the 90s. We, we went and fetched chicken green. And any disruption in the fetching of chicken green meant we will not have food on our day. So it is against that backdrop that we think. So it's not the, the government we are looking at, no. When you see the CDC, it's calm and peaceful. It's not the government that we can the ordinary people. It's not the government. The government is just a beneficiary of our strategic analysis that the country deserves the peace and tranquility. But we do not want excuses. But we are indeed coming back to power because already in five months. Yeah, yeah. Five months, you can already see the difference between the yeah, government and yeah. you know, the United States government. Before, maybe people didn't understand the difference between the CDC and the United States. The United States used lies from Uganda. They said we don't have a strong propaganda, and I agree. I do agree. The CDC, as a government, feels measurably our propaganda. But when you use propaganda to come to power, mm -hmm. you're not using propaganda to lead. Mm -hmm.
after God, the, the real issues will confront you. The real issues will confront you. You have to solve real problems. You don't want to use propaganda to govern. No. You have to solve real issues. You have to confront the importers. You have to deal with them. On our regime, President we are being a sort of Gibraltar, mm-hmm. instructed the government to pay subsidy to keep the rice price down. Yes. Mm-hmm. So true. President we are when US students were demonstrating, President we are instructed the government to declare free tuition quota was a joke, quota was a bluff. No! It's not a bluff. Before we left office, the enrollment at the U.S. more than doubled as we got free tuition. More than doubled. The period of the university went to 3.4 million per month. Because the free education, the free tuition scheme multiplied the number of students that were enrolling. And when the number of students in, in, that are enrolling multiplied, more sections are being created. When more sections are created. The university will have to hire more professors who have to think for longer hours. Hmm. So these decisions by the CZ government were deliberate. When the CZ government took power in, in 2018, when the 20,000 students were sitting wax annually. Before we left power, 50,000 students were sitting wax. Oh. Oh. The people, people are trying to lie. The same lie you told when you were in opposition that we're not paying for WAS. And if I would say why here, why does not credit? Why does not boost their pay? No, no, no. If you don't pay, if you don't pay the WAS fee, you will not send the debt. Even before the government can pay. So you should ask them. If somebody says, oh, the government owes you why the government didn't pay. And you know about the, you know about the government having pay. It's a blatant false view. It's a blatant lie. Because Wire does not credit. Go to wire offering. You don't pay. If the government didn't pay, the student will not take the test. Mm-hmm. So, so what they are alluding to, in fact, we reduce the government, the, the government, the country's area to, to wire. Mm-hmm. Before we left office to pay around 700,000 games and every year, monthly, every year, every year, that will be paid by, by the government that like has not been paid for almost 30 years. Mm-hmm. We pay almost 700,000 games that to reduce the area. The wash fees, but currently we're paid because they are pre-represent, they are pre-condition for the students in sitting in the works. And we challenge the government to continue these policies. The university must remain free, the works must remain free, we have to continue to subsidize rights. Because these are the things that directly impact the people. So we challenge you to continue these policies. And then attempt not to provide something for the rights. You bring the the rapper that bring for yourself. Mm-hmm. So we're not going to interfere. We're not going to offer as any protest, no. Mm-hmm. But if the people decide to protest, we'll defend their right to protest. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. So if uh, there are there are some merchants in the government that are trying to play politics with the right by adding a dollar or two and all that kind of thing. They must think twice. Mm-hmm. In the CZ that government, we were, paying, we were paying importer subsidies to keep the rice mm-hmm. price down. Oh, yes. Now, we said the government continued the harassment of ordinary civil servants by wrongful dismissals, unwarranted transfers, intimidation. These acts of the government have the purpose to create serious discord in the civil service and undermine the peace and tranquility of the country. Like I said earlier, we have also been informed that police officers recruited during the CDC regime have been targeted, harassed, suspended, and dismissed for political reasons. This is very wrong and unacceptable. Government is seriously politicizing the security service of the state. It started with the mass dismissal of EPA agents. Now, the police administration has followed suit. The Coalition for Democratic Change wow. also welcomes the signing of Executive Order 131, creating the Office for the War and Economic Plan put 
in Liberia to address abuses and violations of human rights committed during the 14 years of civil war. We also thank the House of Representatives and the Liberian Senate for passing a resolution for the establishment of a court, the jurisdiction of prosecuting war and economic crimes. It is hoped that we can finally bring closure to the 14 years of civil crisis in Liberia. The CDC also strongly believes that even in the wake of these steps taken for the establishment of the court, the implementation of the, of the Palau Forum, as recommended by the TRC, is equally paramount for attaining genuine and lasting peace, reconciliation, and unity in Liberia. <coughs> While applauding these monumental steps towards addressing the abuses of the past, we should not lose sight of the historical issues of exclusion, marginalization, abuse of power, and the disregard of the rule of law, which culminated in the, in the country 14 years of evil. So do not play politics with the establishment of war at Heavenly Crown Court. Because unless you are not a student of Liberian history, you will understand that abuse of power, violation of human rights, and some of the very things that are happening today are the things that precipitated the civil crisis. So it will be, be mere mockery and hypocrisy if you are trying to establish a court while repeating the excesses of the past. Why trying to activate formal war laws to win havoc on the people? Because a civilized government should not even have interfered even during the campaign. You know, confess murder. And the reason why I say I'm using Bob Nicky as an example, he's the only man who has gone on tape. Mm -hmm. And I just want to set the record yes. straight. He's a man who, because he's already a convict, yeah. he's a man who gone on tape. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and confess to murders. Yeah, she's going on tape, and that's why I'm calling murder because we, on, on the Liberian law, everybody is presumed innocent. Mm -hmm. If somebody go on public radio and say, oh, I'm a murderer, I'm a murderer, I murder a lot of people, I murder hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are forgiving him as a brother. But for, for him to have been introduced in the political theater mm -hmm. in the 2023 election, mm -hmm. so dangerous, dangerous mm -hmm. law. Very dangerous. Dangerous desperation on the part of the Unity Party. <clears throat> and we are surprised that uh, international actors did not even condemn that. Because my who is a confessed brother should not have been anywhere near the politics of the country. And now the, the, the party the men supported is in power. Yeah. So you can imagine what could be happening behind the scene. We are getting information that people have been trained, this and that, this and that. The government should take note that all our, our top propaganda agents are activated and be keeping serious watch. We are already witnessing extra judicial action of the government. The government is engaging in violation of rights. Mm -hmm. It's asking people to take, take the People say, oh, but the government, do you want to take the government to court? That's very laughable. But the government should not be asking citizens to take it to court. Mm -hmm. But the, the citizens do not have the resources to go to court. Mm -hmm. The reason why people will engage in protests is because they don't have the resources to go to court. People are living day by day. Mm -hmm. And so you should not violate the rights of people and say, oh, the people should go to court. So it's just simple elementary logic. But not demand ordinary people to say, oh, we'll violate your right to report. Mysterious killing. Yeah. We're already seeing mysterious killing all around the country. Mm -hmm. Police, initial engagement with citizens, resulting in the death of people in King mm -hmm. Something that will continue for six years. Mm -hmm. Six years, there was no death at the hands of the police. Mm -hmm. so, people lied on the government. They lied about all of us being killed. They lied and lied and lied. They lied their way to power. 
You cannot lie your way to govern. You are confronted with the, with the, with the practical challenges of God in the country. And we will stand aloof and will not give you the comfort of finding an alibi. The CDC will not be used as an, as an alibi. The government president, we have already demonstrated that the Liberian people are fine upon the quest for power. Mm -hmm. And so we are all following Q. We are following his excellency president. We are mm -hmm. the example he has set. Mm -hmm. And that's what will be constructively engaged with this government. We'll keep the government free to the fire. It will not be disruptive. The government will disrupt its own activity if it wants to. <laughs> we will not be used. We will not be used. We shall not be used. So, like we are saying, when such transgressions as flagrantly as violating of equal decisions and protesters being shot by the police, which is meant to protect, to protect them, Harassing and removing civil servants from, from position without justifiable reason and politicizing the security forces through arbitrary dismissal become commonplace. We are starkly reminded of the biases and vestiges of our difficult past that brought the country into crisis. These historical wrongs attempted a civil war. And they are sadly re-emerging, they have already indicated just few months into the regime of the United Party. The electoral violence of 2023 perpetrated millions of supporters of the United Party, resulting in the death, the death in Lofa, Nima, and Monserrado counties. And these deaths are not being investigated with demand, and maybe it would do any protest that would be protesting for. Mm. Because people in Lofa will not die in vain. No. We will be, we'll be communicating formally with the Minister of Justice and Attorney General to demand prosecution of people who were, who got, these people were murdered right on tape. Mm -hmm. These people were murdered right on tape. In Lofa, people were murdered right on tape. In Monserrado, they were murdered right on tape. And we saw it. And the corporate, the alleged corporate and perpetrators are women's free. That is totally unacceptable. Very uncivilized. It was, it was important to give the government the opportunity to give the government the space. But those people who died, they, they will not go in vain. The perpetrator will be prosecuted, will demand the prosecution. And so if we do it, if we start to do any protest, that will be protesting for. What? Yeah, we'll be demanding, yeah, we'll be demanding the prosecution of, of, of the, the murderers in Lofa. We'll be demanding the prosecution of the person who killed Joshua. Joshua. Mm -hmm. There was a report that them also in Nimba will be demanding prosecution. The government should take note because these people were Liberians. Uh, they had the right to political participation. So the government should begin, to, the government, because some of these people were already indicted, were charged and indicted. And the government should proceed with the prosecution of these people. We are also surprised that the definite silence of our international partners. Because they have not, they are not demanding, for instance, the prosecution of people who committed murder during the election. These people must be prosecuted because if people committed this crime on tape. Council of Churches. Council of Churches should demand the prosecution of you know, the alleged murderers who murder people in cold blood in the name of politics. No language should be murdered in the, in the name of politics. Mm -hmm. Our politics should read the product. And he says yes, the CDC did not opt to arrest opposition people, no. Not that the CDC did not have the power to arrest, no. But the CDC government thought it was on civil last. The CDC government could not Met a violent, violent or met against Jefferson Kuti, violent or met against Moba Moru, violent or met against Carlos Gray. These were arrested and tortured under the Unity Party. 
but just severally, not one time, not two times. And so the citizens would not come to power and begin to talk, arrest and torture people. That would be very contradictory. That would be against the revolution. And so now they take the citizen. The citizen knew exactly what he was doing. He was fighting for protesters. Because he realized that the first constitution guaranteed the right to peaceful assembly, the right to protest. So, to conclude, the Constitution of the Democratic Prudential and Peace is critical to the prosperity of the country and will prevent the repeat of our troubled past. Thank you. Amanda! Let's to listen to a few questions from the media. The party's position on issues confronting democracy and attractiveness of power of the state and its people. So the time is yours. You now have the opportunity as members of the Pope Estate to ask. Three questions, and we hope that your questions will be the domain, the confines of what has been said and read. So please take due judicial and intellectual notes. Thank you. Yeah, please call your name and the station you represent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm Thomas Kojo Rolak. I work for Freedom FM One TV. One question, please. Honorable oh, Chairman, you made a statement. You said, at some point in time, the CDC will not get involved into protests. At some point in time, you said the CDC will get involved into protests. Don't you see that as a total contradiction to your statement? No, it's not a contradiction. It's a specific issue that I spoke to the murder of, of, of citizens during the elections. People have been charged. Because in 2017, I uh, Queen Johnson also supported the citizen that led to the citizen victory. So, the, the, the general public was not a political actor, had never been a political actor. No. Queen Johnson was a senator of Nima County. Mm -hmm. So, that's those are two differences. And Queen Johnson, Queen, Queen, Queen Johnson, Queen Johnson, <laughs> Queen Johnson have been accused of very often. But Queen Johnson, Queen Johnson has not gone on tape to confess to any crime. And so uh, I'm speaking to Bob Lincoln who has gone on tape. There are very many videos on, on social media that tell you that Bob Lincoln is a confessed murderer. And, uh, I think, I don't know what the TRC fight on him. I'm so concerned about the 285 yellow machine that were announced by the 
Minister of uh, State of our portfolio, uh, there, there, there have been many concerns that drew the attention of many Liberians as well uh, on the basis of accountability and transparency. And we see some of their lawmakers, uh, the level of Honorable Sad Joseph, welcoming the, 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 the information that is very commendable. And you have a group of legislative uh, caucus, meaning those within the representative in the Senate. How the party reconcile it is to farm this to that? The so, government is a bit wrong to accomplish it. So, so even the CDC welcome the idea of giving 285. In fact, we want 500. <laughs> we want 500. But we are saying, because there are laws, there are public, there are laws for, for public tender. It is such a bit, there's a process. That we are just asking the government to be transparent and accountable. So, Sir Joseph is not wrong to want the, the, the yellow machines. Even the CC will want 500, the government should add, you know, additional, you know, the five, to add, not two, uh, two, 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 to make it, to make it, to make it, 500, we need you, one 500, but it's going properly. It's not swap the resources together with hearing. It's not civil, for instance, one game, we know there are processes. It's not mortgage the resources of the country. So we're not against, no, and that be on record. The CDC is not against you know, the government is getting, because we, in fact, before we left office, before we left office, we left about 50 yellow machines. 50, the whole CDC government left. We didn't get in trucks. So the CDC government, suppose, but that was done through a public tender, there was a contractor, it was open, it was open competitive bidding. And that's what we are asking for. So we're not against yellow machines. But yeah, don't do it shady, it shouldn't be a shady deal. No. Yeah, so let's take the, the last two. Mr. Chairman, my name is Sam Andrews, host of the afternoon show based on season's on power supply, area 104.1. Oh, yes. Though you didn't mention it in your address, yes. but it couldn't have come at a better time than now because you are poor, so you are the best person as chairman of the uh, party. We've been hearing over the days defections from the tripartite arrangement to a couple of individuals, though they have not been definitive as to whether they are out completely or they are still in. Wouldn't you mind telling us whether those parties are out of the Congress, the Coalition for Democratic Change, or they are still in? So what I can tell you is that the, the coalition of democratic change is a coalition of independent political parties, the National Patriotic Party, the Democratic Democratic Party. These parties have their own internal democratic processes, and there will be competitions in these parties, just as there are competitions in the Congress for Democratic Change. But what we can tell you is that the coalition of democratic change remains strong, mm -hmm. and. And after all, and electoral laws, there will be there are a lot of variables at play. But we will, as as we know now, no party has withdrawn from the coalition. The coalition will together. The MPP is still with us. The MPP is still with the coalition. And there are even additional non-parties that are still with the coalition. Yeah. The coalition is strong, and we will be looking forward to bringing it. Forward. The FDP is still with the coalition, but these parties have their internal democratic processes that will exhaust. Yes. So they have the right, just as the Congress has the right, that the Congress is trying to rebrand now. There are a lot of things that won't be doing the community from the perspective of the Congress for democratic change. So, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.